hey guys welcome back so I had big plans to take you to the studio with me today but the stuff I wanted to take you and show you isn't ready annoyingly so hi wizard where are you heading <laughs> hi hi bud you enjoying the day it's so warm out, you love it. It's a bit hot for me. Anyway, so let me go inside, it's so bright. So at the pottery studio, look at this other cutie, I'm so sorry. Hi. Oh, goodbye. So at my pottery studio, they fire every week. So everything goes in on Monday and comes out on Thursday. So I've been working on these mugs painstakingly that I'm so excited for their new stuff. I also did a couple little test tiles because I'm work I'm like got this new glaze and anyway, there's just a lot of stuff I'm very excited about. So I made sure it was like in on time to get fired on Monday and then the kiln tech always te like sends pictures to this like um forum and it's like, "Okay, kiln's unloaded." And I saw that like the member stuff they do classes at the studio and they have members obviously um and the member shelf was like really small but then there was like all this student work that was fired and i didn't see any of my stuff on the shelf and i'm like what the hell so then i was like i basically was just like what's up and they were like well you know at the end of the month we have to get all the student stuff out the door and i'm just annoyed because i'm like it's not that I don't think that the student work should be fired, it's just that I'm like, maybe they need to be doing like a second firing that week so that the members, like I just kind of feel like annoyed because I'm like, I pay a lot of money to belong to this studio and to just kind of be like, oh, you have to wait like another week to get your stuff that like I count on it. Like that's also my income. And so it's just rubbing me the wrong way. So now I'm like, that was what I was going to do with you guys and like take you to the studio with me. And now it's like, I don't really have anything to do and I don't have anything to sell now. And like, I don't know. I can't even work on the other stuff that I made because I was waiting on getting those test tiles out. So it's just kind of like halted things on my end. And I just feel like really disappointed in that because I just don't feel like that was the right way to handle it. Anyway. So, I'm kind of just like looking cute for no reason, but I figure I'll take it a step further and put some makeup on because I'm like in a cute little outfit, or I'll show you, even though I, now I'm not going anywhere. Uh, a newly edition, of course. I got like all sundresses because it just got like hot here in LA, which is kind of like what happens in the summer. It comes at you fast. So I'm gonna put a little bit of makeup on, but I'll show you like my kind of like summer warm warm weather routine because when it's hot, I can't stand to like be sweaty and have a lot of makeup on and stuff. So I keep it really minimal, but just something that makes me feel like cute and put together. Um, so I'm gonna be using some Merit stuff and this portion of the video is sponsored by Merit. So thank you Merit, because I'm a huge, huge fan. So we've got their cute little bag, which I love. I have like five of these. I just, I love taking them on like travel and stuff like that. It's just a little pouch. I'm gonna use one of their sets, which is the special occasion set, um, which kind of has like everything I need. So I'm gonna start off with their minimalist stick and I'm in the shade Dune. This is the most perfect shade for me. Like the color match is insane. So for this, this is kind of like their multi-purpose stick and I use it kind of mostly in the center of my face and under my eyes as well. Just to kind of even out my skin tone, I concentrate it like mostly in the center where I can be a little bit more red. First of all, everything's vegan and cruelty free, but my favorite thing is that they are all non-comedogenic and you know that I struggle with my perioral dermatitis and heavy products and pore clogging products can really aggravate it and i actually just had a flare-up i'm currently on an antibiotic for it 
so I'm having to kind of treat my skin with like kid gloves and I love that like Merit products don't aggravate it at all. And I have this little blemish that I've been sadly picking at so I'm just going to do a little extra here to cover that. Okay then the bronzer. This is one of my all time favorite Merit products and I use this pretty much every day. I'm really making quite a dent. I'm in the shade Sane and I just put it like here. I like to kind of go a little heavier with this, especially in the summer, because it's like, why not be a little bit bronzy? But I use this on my wedding day, and I use it every other day too, and it's just perfect. It blends in so nicely. You can just kind of pat it in, and it just like blends in perfect. And it's not too much, which I love, because I'm more fair, and I feel like if I use too much bronzer, it can just look really fake and kind of muddy. And this one, in my opinion, is just perfect. Do a little over the nose. Just a little sun-kissed, and it gives like just a really nice glow. We use their Flesh Balm in Rouge. I've been loving a red blush. This is like kind of like a fruit punchy color, and I'm just going to put it just kind of on my cheeks. I don't know where I put my blush anymore. It's like, is it on the apples? Is it on my cheekbones? I don't know. I just kind of do it with whatever feels right. I love this color because it kind of like mimics like you've been out in the sun and I kind of take it over the bridge of my nose too. And look at that. I love dapping it a little bit on my lips too. Okay, another one of my favorites is their eyeshadow. I love the shade Studio because it's really like kind of a warm neutral brown. And it's just, I'm not like a huge eyeshadow person. I just like a little wash of color. And I feel like that gives me exactly what I'm after. Okay, and the product I've been waiting to talk about because it's my all-time favorite. This is a holy grail for me. This is their mascara. And it is the only mascara I use anymore. I wore it on my wedding day. This is my wedding day mascara. I wouldn't have chosen anything else. It's not waterproof, but it is tubing and smudge proof. And when I tell you this stays on better than any waterproof mascara I've ever tried, the only thing that will take it off is warm water. And so it comes off easily at the end of the day, which is really important to me, but it doesn't flake or smudge all day. I have this lipstick. This is their signature lip in the shade Sunday. And I'm just gonna do, it's like a little corally pink. I'm just gonna dab it on over top of the blush. I'm going for like kind of like a blurred strawberry lip. Oh, love. And that's the look. It literally took me five minutes. So check out Merit in the link below. Every first purchase comes with their signature bag and all of their sets are also a really good deal. You get some money off. So if you wanna try the special occasion set that I use, you can find it all below. So thank you Merit, I love you so much. And now we can figure out what we're doing for the rest of the day. Okay, you guys, today is such a wash. I think we're just gonna hang, but I'm gonna make um, a sandwich. I've been doing a braid lately. Oh my god, I can get so sidetracked. I'm gonna make a sandwich um, because Ted and I have been splitting a sandwich every day, which has been great because I'm really bad at eating lunch. So, um, and also sandwiches freaking rock. Like a turkey sandwich the little chips on the side oh my god I'm trying to figure out what to do with my hair see the thing is it's got it's gotten so long it's like down to here and I like really want it to be longer but I've reached the point where I always get when I grow out my hair is why why did I do it it looks bad it feels ugly I don't like my hair down with like any outfit. I don't know why. When my hair is long, I feel like it just like, it like, it overwhelms my face. It doesn't do anything for me. And it's too hot, first of all. And it's so much work to 
like wash it and style it and everything. However, the benefit of having your hair long is you've got like a lot of options to like do fun hairstyles. You know, I love doing like a little slick back. That's been like my go-to. But I'm like, am I really like keeping my hair long to just not have a hairstyle? <sighs> but I'm like so close to it being like really, really long. So I don't know. Decisions, decisions. I thought of just getting bangs, but then I'm like, oh, bangs in the summer, kind of a mistake. But like picture if it was like if my braid was like this long oh and it's like if i chop it it's like i'm so close i'm so close i feel like maybe i'll just leave it for now but that's just like kind of what i'm dealing with difficult stuff i know but yeah i don't know i've been liking my hair back lately because it just feels like I have such a round face that when I like have my hair down, it just like overwhelms it. It just looks even rounder and it just like doesn't feel like, I feel like it makes my outfits like less cute. <laughs> anyway, oh, maybe want some turkey. Here, maybe. She was waiting like such a good little girl. No. <laughs> Good girl. All done. We don't normally, or I guess we have, oh my god. We don't normally, my, my viewfinder is being weird. So now I like look upside down and I don't know what you guys are seeing. Anyway, we don't normally give them um, people food, but so old that it's like you deserve to have a little turkey every once in a while you know what I mean so it's like whenever we make a sandwich or we're eating like chicken for dinner it's like here you go have a little bit you know it's like you only live once you guys have made it this far you deserve a little turkey and they just love it okay so here's the deal so Ted and I love to split a sandwich but he likes mayo no mustard mustard and mayo so I gotta just do the mayo I gotta cut it in half and then I gotta add mustard to mine he's wrong frankly mayo and then a little gray papon Ooh, I was literally have a visceral rem <laughs> memory of being a child and my neighbor across the street who had to kids around my age would watch me after kindergarten um until my brothers would get home from school it was like start of the school year she said what this is how she worded it what do you like on your sandwich mayo or mustard and i liked both but i didn't know how like my young self didn't know how to ask for both and i still don't fully know you know if you ask if someone asked me that same question again i would be like and so I just said mayo, but I should have said mustard in hindsight because I do prefer mustard over mayo. And so every single day she would make me a sandwich with just mayo, you know, and like turkey and cheese or ham and cheese or whatever. And I'd sit there and I almost gag eating it. And so I barely eat. And every day she'd be like, why are you eating your lunch? You're not hungry. And I'm like, no, I didn't have the heart. So for a whole year, I literally would have eaten my sandwich if she had just put a little mustard on it. Anyway, we have a big bag of chips left over from our wedding that we're still working through. And so I'm going to put a little on the side. This is like the best part of the day. A little lunch with a little chippy. And not me making lunch for my husband. I'm so domesticated. Normally he's the one making lunch for us, but since I'm not going to the studio, I have the time because he's been working a lot. Let's go give it to him. He's going to be so excited. He's going to go, ooh.
Is that the right one? Okay. What's that? You made me a sandwich. Mm-hmm. Thank you. You're welcome. You're, I got your reaction wrong. What did you think was gonna happen? Ooh! That Go ahead. Is Give what it. What did I do? <gasps> What's that? Well, there's this hole. Yeah. yeah. Right. Let's try. Let's try it again. <laughs> Pretend I have the sandwich. Ooh. There you go. How is it? So far, so good. One chip in. I made them myself. Meaty. Yeah. I put three slices. We're living large today. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. Hey. All right. I'm gonna go have mine. I think by having the day off, I'm going to take the win. It's so nice out. I'm going to set up a blanket in my front yard and read my book. This is the book I'm reading at the moment. X's and O's. It's okay. Um, but I'm into it. I'm like halfway through so you know enjoy the day off i'm kind of excited at the idea so thanks guys for hanging out with me today it's been real it's been nice and i'll see you in my next video next wednesday